Hey there, it's your favorite remote work enthusiast, Delilah. I don't think it's any secret how much I love remote work, but there are some downsides. And one of the major downsides are fake online jobs. That's why in today's video, I'm gonna share a few helpful tips that will allow you to immediately identify if a job that you're looking at is legit or if it's fake. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in. So before we actually get into these three tips that I'm gonna share with you, it's imperative that you understand that there are no job websites free of scams. Indeed, Glassdoor, Simply Hired, Monster, and all of them, okay? You can probably name 20 more, okay? All of them have scams on them. And I have seen scams on all of these websites. I think there's this idea out there that there are some websites more scam free than others. And while some websites might just be a bunch of scams, there are no job websites free of scams because scammers can get on any of these websites, make a job lead that looks convincing and scam you from there. So just be aware that no matter where you go, you always have to stay vigilant and you always have to check these companies and test them for their legitimacy. So just keep that in mind. So tip number one on how you can tell if a job is legitimate is looking at the pay. And you wanna make sure that the pay is within the range that companies pay for that type of position on average. Now, if you're looking at a job that's customer service based and it's entry level, so you have a little bit of experience, on average per se, you would expect to make about $20 per hour. However, it should be a red flag and something should go off in your mind when you come across an entry-level customer service role paying $30 per hour. Now to get an idea of how much a job should pay, I go on Glassdoor, I check out companies that offer similar positions, and I look up how much do those roles pay. And you'll see that they're usually within a few bucks higher or lower than each other. And that gives you a nice little range of how much you should expect to get paid in that type of position. When a company is paying well above the average industry-wise, that's a huge red flag. And that's actually how scammers get your attention. Now, if you saw a video that I posted some months back, I shared a video about a fake job that was going around that people were falling for left and right. It was these reshipping scam jobs. No job actually exists of that, I have to point that out. And if you look at the comments, you'll actually see a ton of people share that they have fallen for that type of scam. And one of the main reasons that they fell for it was because the pay was so high and the work was so easy. So that's kind of like a bonus red flag within this red flag. The pay has to justify what you're doing for the work. And if the job is just easy peasy and it's also paying way above what companies who have similar roles pay, then that's a huge red flag that you're probably looking at a scam job lead and you just don't want to fall for it. So pay, okay? The pay has to be on par with what the industry standard is. The second way that you can verify if a job lead is legitimate is job leads typically see a few sets of eyes before they go live. And with that being stated, they typically are free from typos and syntax errors. And when I notice a job scam, one of the things that I see all the time, nine times out of 10, there are tons of grammatical errors in those job leads because scammers are too busy scamming to use spell check. Now, I'm not saying if there are any typos in a job lead that it means it's fake because I've actually seen that multiple times, but it's just the amount of typos. It's just the amount of syntax errors. You know, all those run on sentences and stuff just being jumbled together. That is one of the red flags that you want to look out for if you're looking at a job lead. Because like I said, scammers are too busy scamming to use spell check. So that can be a dead giveaway that you're looking at a fake job. 
My third and final tip for verifying if a job lead is legitimate or if it is fake is you want to make sure that the email address that you are given goes to a domain connected to the company, not one of those common email addresses such as AOL or Gmail or Yahoo. If this lead is coming from a company, everyone who represents the company and doing business on behalf of the company is going to have an email address at that company's domain. And that's how you would know you're communicating with someone who's really representing the company. So for example, my company is called Remote Work Life. All email addresses for anyone who does any type of work for me come from at remoteworklife.co. You could actually take that last portion after the at symbol, pop it into your browser and it'll take you to my website. Now, if you were looking to apply to a job with a company such as T-Tech, okay, you would not want to email someone your resume that has an at gmail.com address. You would want to make sure that when you take that last portion of their email, pop it into the web browser, it takes you to the company's website. That's an easy way to know if you're communicating with someone who is really representing the company. Scammers can put all the company's logos. They can put all the information that maybe a company has posted in a legitimate job lead in their fake job lead, but they cannot replicate an email address that is not supported by the company. And that is an easy telltale sign that you're not really communicating with a representative from that company. So that's a great tip, okay? That's one of my best tips that I can provide you on how to make sure that you're really applying to a legitimate online job. So those are the three tips that I have for you. And I just wanna close out with a couple more thoughts on this topic. While there are a lot of bad people out here pretending to be good people, don't let that stop you from pursuing remote work. Like I said, it really just requires you to be vigilant. You don't wanna just blindly accept that this is a lead from a company that you're interested in and give all of your information away because a lot of companies require a lot of very personal information when you are applying. It's not uncommon for companies during the application process to ask you about your social security number, your address, your full name, and even give references to companies and positions that you've worked in the past, along with contact references. Companies can ask you for all of that during the application process. And I know it can feel sort of like, wait, this is just way too much info. We don't even know each other. but that is kind of what companies need these days in order to make sure that they don't waste their time entertaining someone who isn't a real person or who they say they are. So just like you're being vigilant about the company and you wanna make sure that you're talking to who you think you're talking to, companies wanna make sure of the same thing. So just because a job application asks you for those pieces of info doesn't necessarily mean that it is fake. And it's actually a very common thing for jobs to ask you for that info. That's why you want to make sure that you're actually giving your information to who you believe you're giving it to. And again, there are no websites that are a step above the others where you don't have to worry about this issue. Anyone can get on these websites and impersonate legitimate companies. And that's why you'll actually see on a lot of job websites, a little note that says, you know, people are impersonating us. If you think you've been scammed or talking to someone who's not from our company, here's our contact info. This isn't because that company is isn't legitimate is because so many people are running these types of scams. That's why I wanted to make sure that you guys have all the resources you need and then some. If you feel like this video was helpful and you want even more information on how you can avoid job scams, I actually have a course on how you can really make sure that you are only talking to who you believe you are talking to. And I go in depth in the course in ways that I can't really do on YouTube. And if you are interested in picking up the course, course. For everybody who uses the link in the description box below, you're going to get it for a major discount because you made it to this point in the video and because I like you. So if you do want to make sure that you avoid online job scams, then definitely take me up on getting the course. I had to put a little price tag on it because I got to keep the lights on at my teachable school. It's not free to have a teachable school and you're going to learn everything you need, including visual examples and different websites that you can use to verify 
by the job that you're looking at. So please take me up on that offer. I can't wait to see you inside of the course. And thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope this has been helpful for you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.